recording starting my now. My Here we go. YouTube. Hey. Yeah. Uh, hell is full, huh? Oh, that's Woo! crazy. Woo! Boy, is it. Mankind Man. is dead. <laughs> Mankind is dead. Hell is full. Hell Blood is, is fuel. Is Baba fuel. is you. Um, oh, God. <laughs> so I uh, wrote a module for my tabletop game that I made months ago uh and i've suckered some folks into play it uh Hi. can you introduce yourselves uh no starting from the top of the discord list to the bottom oh that, that be me hello i'm sucker also known as curly also known as for this game uh chixie spice she is my she is my imp uh i'm very very excited to play her i've been looking forward to this for her uh a couple yeah a couple of weeks now and it's oh i'm so happy to finally be here it's gonna be great uh eclipse oh yeah pronouns and stuff too oh yeah uh she her pronouns yay oh this game has pronouns this game i gotta go <laughs> this game has <sighs> oh no <laughs> eclipse are you there yeah hi uh, i'm eclipse she they i'm gonna be a bit quiet on this one Yep, yeah, that's all right. Uh, Lilith. I'm Lilith. She it's. I'm playing Donna Lee. I have a gun. And last uh, but not least, uh, the crowd. The crow. Uh yeah, hi, it's me, Crowley. Uh, they them. Uh, I. I'm all. I'm playing uh Mott, just Mott. Who is who is the white rabbit, uh, bringer of misfortune and uh, cursed to die in a very very bad way? Apparently, according yeah. to the Bible, and by the Bible <laughs> I mean six. The Bible. <laughs> yes. I yeah, you know that. that's what that, that's what you call the GM in this game, right? The Bible. No, uh, it's Demon Master, so I don't have to change everything to GM. <laughs> Oh, okay. It's patently lazy. <laughs> the <un -viable. laughs> So, um, yeah, you're introducing yourselves. Now we are going to have a rather classic start, aren't we? Uh, you all are a crew of mischief-making miscreants who have either been running afoul with each other for a while or just a short time. You, however, are currently in a dive bar where you are trading stories with one another of mischievous or entertaining things you've done. Uh, there is no pastime uh, more welcomed and beloved than uh, telling people how you fucked others over. <laughs> Rat fucking uh, is a national pastime in hell. So. <laughs> Wait, we're fucking what? Don't worry about it. Is that a colloquially known term? Is that Ohio only? I think it, yeah, well, it is. I've, I've <laughs> okay. reached it. I know it a little it, bit. It, it sounded like uh, me when I'm mouth, <laughs> me when I'm rat. So, uh, heem, heem. This bar is located outside the Fortress of Dusk. It is a tertiary fortress that sits outside of the Citadel of the Shadow. Uh, none of you work for that devil in particular. You just reside within its territory. Um... Yeah, so how about uh, we start off the story ch sharing? Who would like to share their first story of, of mischievousness? Oh, uh, yeah, I can go. I can go. I can do a thing. <laughs> so, Get silly. Uh, yeah. So let's set the scene here. Uh, we're all sitting around. Um, I assume this table in this very rowdy, uh, very rowdy um, hell bar. Uh, yeah, it's great. Beers are flying. People are dying. It's it's wonderful. Um, so you see, they're sitting at the table. Uh, this imp with um, she has this dark mangled hair. Uh, <laughs> cute pointy horns. Um, even though her attractiveness score is not that high, but damn it, I wanted cute horns. Uh, <laughs> and um, she is like I'm playing music. The tapping. Music alarmed. Oh, play music. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that way, Foundry doesn't blast my ears out. I appreciate that. There we go. Oh, that actually was that was actually very nice. Uh, 
So she's sitting at this table with um, a leg going a thousand miles a minute, just tap, 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 uh, as she um, is speaking to you all. Um, so, basically, uh, I hate my family. No, that's not right. I don't hate my family. I mean, it's like, they just don't understand me, you know? I mean, like, I've got a lot of responsibility on my shoulders, you know, because, like, my family is, we're really big, we're more of a, okay, we're less of a family, more of, like, a, uh, an assemblance of a uh, cult member. It's a cult, more than anything. My, my cult. Um, and so, Ooh. and I said that I hate them. I don't really hate them. I'm just very, very, they're very, they don't really understand me. Did I say that already? Basically, I've got a lot of responsibility on me because of them, and they look up to me for a lot, but at the same time, I just don't really vibe with it, you know? And it's not like the things that they're asking me to do is particularly hard, you know, murder this, sacrifice this, blah, blah, blah. Like, and I love all that stuff, you know? I love the murder and whatnot, you know? Don't don't get me started on that. But, like, when somebody actually, like, tells you to do it, you know, it's not the same thing, right? And they're also super protective of, like, me in particular. They're like, no, you can't go dying or else the whole cult will fall apart and blah, blah, blah. But, I mean, like, dying's so much fun, though. I've done it oodles of times, and I'm mostly fine. <laughs> yeah, right. so you have, like, three empty glasses, and a fourth one is being given to you by the, ba by the waitress. And here you go. Yes. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Uh, immediately at the mention of somewhat of dying, uh, one of the people at the table just sort of leans back a little and makes a little noise. Uh, oh, sorry, sort of... I said the thing, Dan. Matt, I'm sorry about that. I know. You I love, it. I love the horse noise in the tracker player. Be nice to Henrik the Horseman. <laughs> Oh, my bad, Henrik. I, I love you, Henrik. I am a paying patron, just the same as all of you. <laughs> hey, nah, uh, that's under... Wait, we're paying? Uh, oh. That's... It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, that's and a yeah, future uh, me problem. <laughs> not... We've, we've been over this. I'll, it's, I'll, I'll handle it. It's not a big deal. Uh, I... Just sort of... Uh, just sort of <laughs> takes uh, a handful of very fake-looking coins. <laughs> these these, sh these should do it. Uh, they're, huh. like, they're like crayons. They're like they're made, bills it, like they're crayons. made of red wax. <laughs> yeah, no, these are these are like specifically Chuck E. Cheese tokens that have been painted red. <laughs> Beautiful. You know, people in this setting, when they bite their coins, they bite through them just to see if it's actual meat. <laughs> yeah, um, it's like a little snack. Like, mmm, delicious. Uh, delicious currency. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, you know, Crowley, you've spoken up. Do you have a story you wish to share? Uh, yeah, no, so you're just gonna sort of see at this table, sort of sitting against the wall, leaning back, uh, just sort of one, uh, little paw on the table is this, uh, is this imp, which is this, uh, very small, even by imp standards, uh, weird sort of scrawny little guy, uh, with the head of a hare, uh, three eyes, sort of a rough skull patterning in the fur, uh, and just... The most atrocious, uh, possible fucking, like, pinstripe jacket imaginable. It's awful. It's, like, four different colors, and it hurts to look at. Mm -hmm. Uh, and okay. it's just, just sort of tapping his fucking foot against the counter, like, uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's, are, are we done? Are we still doing the thing? Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, so... I mean, I don't, I don't make a big deal of it, but uh, you know, I, you probably haven't heard this before, but you know, I, I'm, I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a big deal. People, you know, people talk about me. You know, uh, they just sort of said, uh, I am a known trickster uh, in human legend. And I kind of oh, wait to really? response, and he's like, No, I, you should know this. We talked about this. You, yeah, I am, fucking. 
yeah, the White Rabbit. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm a character. People fucking know me. I've, I've got shit going on. It's cool. Uh, you got a publishing deal. Around. I. <laughs> that was a different guy. I'm not that one. I'm the. I'm a different one. <laughs> Trixie just nods Dallas her head Steven. along. Trixie Miles Dallas just nods Steven. her head along like too fast, <laughs> like a mile a minute. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. you're good. But it takes your fucking head uh, in my shitty little paws. Like, hey, you, is this good? Are we okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just listening. This Don't mouse. hurt yourself, oh. there, there, that's, dearie. That's, that's <laughs> what that is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, <laughs> Donald Donald spoke up. Now Donald is forced to, to tell a story. That is the rules. Ah. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, back in the olden days, you hear, there was... Uh, a big old commotion happening with them, their, them, their mortals. And they were just causing one hell of a racket. So, one day, me and a couple of them ruffians, always bigger than me, uh, just went out there and just started like chasing them mortals with little hot irons. It was so fun. I threw a hot iron, uh, like a spear, uh, and I burnt one of them. Big fan of hot irons. You ever you ever hold one of them? You're supposed to. I, we've been over this. You're supposed to hold them by the handle, or otherwise uh, it burns you really badly. Uh, yeah, I'm aware. That's why I was pressing the hot end on the the mortals. Right. Yeah. Like you're supposed to. I've, I've seen you grab, confidently grab, let me say, one of those the wrong way, and it took, it took me saying something for you to look down, still holding the iron, go, oh, and put it down. Oh, I, think I still of... have the scar from that. Y'all yeah, wanna yeah, see? I... She yeah. holds yeah. out her hand. And so her skin is like relatively like neon red, uh, except for her right palm, which is just charred black. Uh. Oh, that's gnarly. See, this sort of thing my cult would never let me do. Too over you should try it sometime. It's a real serotonin boost. We're not for we're thumps his fucking paw real fast. Uh no 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 no. We are not engaging in scarification rituals here in the shit in this bar. You can do that on your own time, okay? We run a tight ship around here. Okay. Yeah, you guys gotta make you guys gotta look good. We're professionals. Look me in the eye, Trixie. Stop moving. We're professionals. And professionals have what? I I, I, I ain't no fan of this bit. Guns. No, standards. Standards. Yeah. Yeah. Don't need to make don't need to make fools of ourselves any more than we already do by looking like this. Ah, I see. Uh, I just sort of, just sort, I just sort of looking around like, 
look, I didn't mean, I wasn't calling you ugly. I, we've been over this. I, what I mean is that we're little guys. Okay, we are. And if we want to be big guys, and we do, we gotta, we gotta make it, we gotta make an impression. Right? I mean, don't we all want to be big guys? But how are we gonna do that? That's... That's not a useful question right now. We'll get there. I kind of I enjoy being my little old self. Then you can still be little, but you're gonna be little with all of the all of the girls that you could fucking want. Uh, a big a yacht. A hell yacht. Hell yeah, yacht. no, all of that. You're all gonna... If you guys keep me safe, take care of me, like I said. Uh, I can get all that your way. I'm kind of a big shot. Uh, like like I said, that, not to brag. Uh-huh. That it's all true. sounds wonderful! This is, this is work ethic. This is what I was talking about. I'm gonna... You're the real big shot here. Look, glances at the long rifle. Uh, I have. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I am. Please put that thing away from me. I get nervous. Uh huh. You'll see. You'll all see. I suppose we will. Yeah, fucking grape juice in these things? Jesus Christ. I got them before. Why am I not? Because you're getting them kitty drinks. And you... You didn't tell me! I, I thought something fault, tasted a little, little funny. Like I thought I was just having, I thought I was just going a little loopy again. I thought my tongue was just working too fast. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know, just have an actual drink if you want, but be ready to be ambulatory by the time we get to, we get shit rolling because I'm... Look, the bus is not stopping if you're too drunk to move. Oh, I'm never too drunk to move, honey. Yeah, I might be tiny, but I don't got no blood in you here. Every day you say things that make me a little more nervous. Well, maybe stop getting so nervous. Maybe you can stop worrying and learn a thing or two. I've learned many things. Uh -huh. I'm, a, I'm a mythological character. I am intrinsically linked to people learning things and then usually dying horribly because they didn't learn the thing. Uh, that's... I am... In, how dare you, frankly... Oh, how dare I? I dare all the goddamn time. Cool. Truth. We're gonna get an actual drink. Sipping Waiter, can things. we get some vodka whiskey? Huh? Yeah, I mean, of course you can get vodka whiskey. Do you want vodka or do you want whiskey? No, I want yeah, whiskey. Oh, I want vodka whiskey. We don't mix our drinks here. Well, then hand me both bottles so I can do just, it myself. Just, That's illegal. Just, just, That's just get, just get, we'll lose our lives just if we do us, that. Just, just get us a fucking whiskey. That's, that's all, please. Hey, and, hey, Mr. Rabbit? Can I get please on that? Please, darling. Yes, could we please... Please. He does Big a little guy. fucking curtsy. 
Yeah, big, big wet eyes. Looking. All yeah, no, all fucking three of them. Even the one with the fucking screws driven in it. <laughs> Please. Uh, let's let's do let's do it for the bit. Which one of you wants to roll your, with tongue? I feel like I should, but it would also be funnier if I did. Yeah, I'll roll with tongue. Yeah, this is a woman, by the way. Oh god, uh, so what's the difficulty? Uh, it's a minus d6. Oh wait, oh you have woman enjoyer? Oh yeah, you, you, you're goddamn right I have woman enjoyer. I forgot. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's epic gander. Alright, that's a 12. Hey, nice. She relents. Uh, rolling her eyes at your antics as she struts away on all four front legs. Thank you, dearie. Um, that's just centipede woman. We love centipede women. Legs dearie. for days. One day I'm gonna have that many legs. <laughs> God bless. Not in the fucking Satan willing. The fucking swirling the fucking empty glass. Uh, before your glass comes back, however, there is a sudden interruption in the conversation as a goblet comes slamming down in the table. Uh, a tall, cloaked figure towering above all of you, standing in silence. Why, how are you there? You <laughs> all four little fucking freaks look over in unison. What? <laughs> Uh, a gurgle can be heard beneath the shrouded hood of this figure, a low, intimidating presence beginning to consume you all whole, as even the bravest of you feel your spine itch. Yeah, I pull, I pull out a bright pink handkerchief, and I hand it to the figure. Uh, one hand and reaches say... out from very low, uh, like, like from the bottom mm -hmm. of the cloak, a hand reaches out and grabs it, and then you hear shuffling as it rolls all the way up. And then a hand out the front of it pops out and, and hands you a blackened, a blackened handkerchief. Oh. What in the Sam pill? You're all easily spooked for a bunch of supposed tricksters. Uh, some of you might be able to recognize this distinct voice of the person speaking as they throw back the hood and an imp stack stands before you. As they are doing the three guys in a trench coat bit. This is Uncle Bao. Uh, he greets you with a toothy grin. Uh, having a chuckle for himself. Ha! You oh, goobers dude. have stupidest looks on your faces. Traded stories like you've seen anything. You want a real story that'll steam your blood and drive your mind? Take a listen here to Uncle Bao. We do this every time, man. Every time. Did we time. get anything out of this one? Uh, I... I get plenty. No, what do we get? Bow, what do we get? A lead. We're doing Perhaps this. Perhaps a hook. I love hooks. Hooks are some of do my favorite. Do you want to listen to my story first? Or do you want to hear the job opportunity first? Hooks are some of my I'll favorite pointy objects, man. Let's look into them. Sit and tell your goddamn story. story. I'm sitting and I'm telling. The story, right there. Now then listen do close, and maybe gain a few years the easy way. I'm all ears, man. Just start talking. The Citadel of Baphomet, way out down in those deep, dark layers below where we reside now. Tricky little place to get into, I'll tell you. There's a city of thieves around that there citadel. A massive box built by Baphomet itself acquired a massive city of thieves of people who went there hoping to get their riches but couldn't get inside. So they just set up and wait for somebody else to come out with something good so they could beat them death. Getting in there ain't no easy task. There is, of course, an entrance, but nobody trusts that damn thing. Now, I... On my little merry visit there, found a back way in, you know? Heard it through a line on some old goat living in there. 
So there I am, walking and talking down a dark hallway, getting mysterious notes of some sort. All very creepy and whatnot. And then I get dropped into a fucking box, and I'm running straight into all these walls. So what I did was, in order to see where the walls were, I just sort of pissed on all of them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why would you be pissed? I, I had a lot to drink before that, and I don't really remember much else. It was the closest uh, available liquid. Try and keep up. You're lurking. <laughs> but yeah, that there vault has some of the most powerful magical demonic artifacts you could ever want. Even just getting in there and surviving and coming out makes you a well-known and powerful imp in your own right. <gasps> uh-huh. You don't say. Alright. Yeah. I know how this works. What do you what do you want in exchange for us going in there? Hmm. Taps his little chin. Hmm. Well, if you get out, I'd like something out of it, but there ain't no guarantees, are there? How about you buy me a couple rounds, then, eh? It'll just come out of my mouth anywho. I think... I think Mott is just gonna look over at this group of people, these fucking imps. And I think he's just gonna be like, yeah, sure. Sure, buddy. Just don't drink all of them their whiskey. Oh, okay. Don't. Do we always have to do that? You're I'm, always threatening to go back. I'm joking. Oh, there's I'm three. Kidding. There's three more of you in in place of what I. Thank you, thank you, Clarissa. Oh, you remember my name? Yeah, I remember your name. I'm I'm the name I rememberer. Think... No, no, you're not. That's Are you? I'm not. What's no. my name? I'd like to see if you remember my name. You're Trixie. Yeah. That was an one. easy one. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Fuck. <laughs> Get out of here, man. That's a bit man. Oh, Uncle Bow, you're me. such a riot. Uh, a, bit, a bit insensitive mixing me and Trixie up. Oh, wait, you're both here. Oh, yeah. oh, all right, well, it just throws it back. Ugh. All right, oh, you've lucked out, actually. <laughs> Throws the drink back. Uh, the oh, entrance okay. to Baphomet's <laughs> Lair of Hell actually only opens up for short times, little bursts. It's one of them tight-knit places, yeah? You're gonna want to find a pond up north with deep green water. You take the plunge and swim as far down as you can. If the portal to the Lair of Baphomet is open, You'll just pop out the other side. If not, you drown, of course. <laughs> Alright. Now I'm thinking about down. it. I think that portal closes real soon. So you should probably hurry. Uh, once you're there, the vault resides in old Bath Citadel, okay? Interesting. She slams both of her hands on the table. Well, what are we waiting for? We gotta go now, 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 now! Wait, so. wait, wait. Raises a little a shit a fucking little just one second. All right, you're Uncle like... Bow, I need a I need a handshake promise that you're not fucking with us again, because I remember last time. Last time didn't even, does it count. Last time that was no, obviously no. A goof. That was on you for not calling me on it. No, you. Why would explicitly I make you drown said, in the lake? Why don't you trust me? You. You, like, you put me in a... You tied my legs and you dropped me in a well, knowing my condition. Boys! That's just... Alright, here's a handshake. Alright. I love, I love you. Repeat after me. Oh, oh, we're doing a whole chant, huh? I... Now I... you say it. All right, now give me your true name. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. Uh, yeah, no, uh, uh, Uncle Val. I, uh, Uncle Val. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. I wasn't joking about that time limit. 
That if you're fuck, that if I'm fucking with you. That if I, Uncle Bao, am fucking with you. You get to keep my testicles. You get to keep my testicles, all one of them. Awesome. You think you're Wait, the first guy to take one. my testicles? <laughs> Uncle Bao's testicles are a valued prize. It was uh -huh. just the most painful thing I could think of in the moment. Uh, it took all right, my heart great. And that hurt pretty bad. The divorce must have been pretty rough. What are you talking about? I don't uh, know. Anyway, okay. we should get so going. So there's a clock now. All right. uh, there's a four segment okay. clock. I don't have my clock <laughs> set up on this. Uh, doing that entire bit with Bao costs one of uh, four in, uh, clocks. So you have three <laughs> actions. <laughs> So, yeah, motherfucker. Hey, <laughs> oh, that God. takes time. So, uh, you might want to gather a few things to ready yourself for the adventure, but time is running short. If you want to retrieve Ooh. something, you're going to need to make a narrative action check, right? Uh, uh -huh. yeah. As such, if you want to retrieve stuff from any abodes you might have nearby or any nearby shops, strategize uh, how you'd like to do it. Or you could just take the time to just run straight to the portal and not have to make any checks at all, but you would lose out on any opportunities to grab something. Okay, well, yeah, then we definitely want to, like... I don't something. need anything more than my here gun and... Uh... Yeah, just my gun. Um... Here. Hey, hey, six, six, do, we, do we need to eat food? Yeah. <laughs> In how? Yes. Uh, okay, uh, okay. Sustaining your corporeal form is assisted uh, by meat and blood. Yeah. No. We I we see. should get some jerky. Maybe some. Maybe fifty foot rope. Yeah, that's exactly. I think. I think. Uh, if this is a lot, if time allows, if the check, if the dice allow, I think I want to get. There's. There was an item I saw. There's like a pack. There's like a pack. Uh. Uh. Pack of cigarettes. Oh, under, under other equipment. Um, okay. Oh wait, what is this? Narrative assistant. <laughs> okay, that's not what I was looking for, but that's kind of funny. <laughs> oh, navigation assistant. Oh, that makes me. Um. Oh, descent gear. Descent gear. When you need to descend down, where? Okay. Oh, that's less of a pack and more of just kind of a. It's rope. Just kind of a rope. Okay. It's just okay. It can be where anything. I... It's it's intentionally vague. To be okay. flexible. Uh. <laughs> when you explore. Oh, what about the navigation assistance? That might be really useful. I'll, I will say you won't. Uh, navigation assistance will not be very useful in the labyrinth of Baphomet. Oh. Or Vault. Of okay. Well, never mind then. Okay. Well, you see where my you see at least where my head was at. I see where your head's you know. at. Yeah, and I appreciate the heads up though. <laughs> before I wouldn't want to make you drop them. 75 blood grits on something that would be useless I really appreciate that considering this is the first time I've ever done anything in this game that's very kind of you <laughs> yeah. um, let us savor this one morsel of kindness I right. only buy so much food yeah no but we should buy food uh, because uh, Mott happens to be a little bit of a chef, so I can actually, uh, yeah, right. I can make uh, like some nice hearty feasts as long as we have like ingredients. So let's just get some fucking sloth and jerky, and I can like, I don't know, <laughs> Mott will like put that shit in a pot or whatever, and it'll become it'll food. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so how about instead changing focus? Uh, what about my weapon? I have I have my maw. I like it a lot. I have a feeling it's probably going to be my primary uh, weapon. Uh, I know enhancements are a thing in this game. Uh, Correct. Could I try that angle as uh, mm, as a use of I my would clock? want I would want to check to find a blacksmith at check this time of day. Ooh. Which would be a localized. Oh, checking. Let me look at narrative actions. That'd probably be like a get around or uh, find prey. 
<laughs> okay, well, both of those fall under speed, which I am good at. So, okay, but that's to find the blacksmith. Uh, is it safe to assume we would take another... You could, uh, 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 I, I guess investigate. You know? And if you would want to no, make I mean, a, a flat, like a, just a regular speed check. Okay. All right, to find the one, but but then but, but then the second part of my question then um, would it be safe to assume that in order to actually get the upgraded item, would that take another part on the clock? Uh, it, it depends on how quickly you get there. So it depends on being able to successfully succeed. So I'd say it's probably explore, and you can use your speed for that. Ooh. Okay. Okay, that's the. At this time, I think that's the only thing that I would like to do, but this is not only my clock. This is all of our clocks. Uh, uh, so that's what I put forward for myself. What about you guys? I'm going to spend all of my money on food and blood. Okay. I money? like that. Uh, I have 80. I got, I got 80 grit. We all do, so you could we get... all do pretty good at uh, Blood Group. I think we all did. Yeah, pretty I mean, good. if. It... Yeah, if you spend your money on if you spend your money on food, uh, and I can uh, when we're in the shit uh, make some of that into some party fucking concoctions, uh, mm. I think we might uh, we might be good. I think it might be the best. I it might be good if like I fucking if secured you, the area or whatever. Yeah, if you spend all your money on it, you get forty servings of blood and meat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shit. Okay. <laughs> okay, spend half your money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, how much do I get per serving? Or how often do we have to eat per day? What are the eating rules? Um, every you you eat once at the end of a day, basically when you're traveling, uh, and you okay. eat between combats to heal. Whoa. Oh yeah, then fucking let's not be crazy. It's, uh, five per serving? Yeah, five blood grits per serving. And one serving is for everybody? Or just one One character? serving is for one person. Uh, okay, that I'll gives us it. eight of each. I think more than just me should be spending money on food. Right, okay. So, um... The six, if I manage to... Can I maybe get a rough, uh... Taps fingers together? Can I maybe get a rough ballpark on how much it's gonna cost to, uh, upgrade my, uh, my thing? Let me check how much I, money you have. Uh, probably all uh, of it. Oh, for real? I have a hundred and ten? Uh, it is... Yeah, it is not cheap to... To get your shit. To get... Uh, to get a blacksmith to just sort of... Because when you run in there, you're just going to need to buy a new one. They can't, you know. Yeah, that makes sense. You just be like, hey, can you give me a plus one of this? And they'll hand you a plus one of that, and you'll hand it to them. And they'll, and they'll be like, okay, cool. Trade oh, in. Kind of okay. And All right. I can't you know believe we still got to deal with goddamn capo. capitalism. I can't. Yeah, it's, it's hell. hell. No, where in hell? Where would they go? Where do you think they fucking go? Of okay. course they're in hell. Yeah. Where else are they gonna but be? But they're the mortals, not demons. Okay. Yeah. Oh Donnelly. no! What? Oh, you expect better of your fellow demon? <laughs> Donnelly, could you please give me a speed check? Yeah. How does that work? It's a d20 plus your speed. I'm gonna help Donnelly. That's gonna be my narrative action. Speed. I'm gonna I'm gonna help with whatever whatever she's doing. Okay, then take an accuracy on this. What does that mean? You get an additional d6. Yeah. Actually, do you want to use my speed? Um. Uh, you could do it in the inverse and have. I I, I rolled really well. Oh, okay. oh yeah. Okay. So I rolled uh. Twenty four. Right, okay. You only need to beat a ten. Uh, <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. So you, Donnelly and Trixie, uh, you go to the local bodega. And you just throw the blood grits directly into the, the man's face and grab your servings of blood and meat and immediately bolt out the door. And he looks around and he's like, is this exact change? Dickheads. Uh, <laughs> you goddamn know it. Okay. So that's so... 888 blood for you. Alright. Okay. 
So my nice. math is bad. I'm realizing how bad my math is. All right, here. Do you want Girl me to? Math. Can I spend? Can I spend a little bit too? So that's eight. So that was eight servings, but just for. So we have eight total right now. You have, you have eight, eight each, total. Yeah. So you have eight. You have eight standard meals. Nothing special. And I can okay. make that. And I can make that shit. Uh, I can make that shit. Uh, fucking primo. Mwah. Yeah, you so could, I think you we're could make a good. nice meal out of it, but it wouldn't have. It would be. Uh, it would cost like more blood and meat to okay. do so. Yeah. Okay, in that case, then yeah, because I was about to say I could spend a little bit too, but since we're just starting off and I have literally no idea how like long we are going to be in this thing in the bowels of this citadel. Uh, I think eight is reasonable to start with. Yeah. There are yeah. four of us. That's two days worth of food. Uh, maybe I buy one more. Maybe one maybe one more serving for everybody. <laughs> so was that twenty? For one more for each person? Yeah. Well forty. Or er, forty? Oh, I thought it was five. Or okay, so 110 minus 40. Seven. Well, it's five for each. Oh, because it's blood and I, I see. I get it. Yeah. Uh, okay, that that's still fine though. So minus so 110 minus 40, 70 blood grits. Okay. All right. Contributing. Hell yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay. Oh, clock is ticking. Okay. <laughs> now we best get going. So yeah, let's all... go. Could uh, I get uh, a speech check from all of you? Okay. Hell yeah. Excellent. Uh, so roll. Uh oh. Okay. So. I got a seven. That's a failure. Uh, That's a success from Curly and Bunny. Oh wait, I forget I, I, I haven't rolled I haven't rolled yet. Yeah, bunny, I'm asking wait. Yeah, bunny, roll. Oh, okay. Sorry, you're calling me bunny. Uh, yeah. okay, fucking Aww. I'm sorry. Uh, we know a person named Bun. You were confusing me. Lol. There's also a character named Benjamin in a different <laughs> game. That is a success. Oh my god. <laughs> so you guys oh, yeah, we're reach both this um Uh oh. So you guys are are speeding that... along. Fuck <laughs> 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 wait up wait up <laughs> It's not even playing for me, god damn it. What's that? I can't hear you all the way back there. <laughs> I'm just, just don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> Fuck, I'm out of shape. <laughs> You're out of shape. That's oh, so you can hear me. I can, yeah. but I'm all the way back here. So you guys are sprinting outside of that little fort. Um, towards into the, you know, uh, woods quotation marks. Uh, it's difficult to refer to anything as anything as in a hell because it's such a fluid concept of place and time and, and existence, you know. But eventually, you reach the green pond as described, and the one leading the pack, who I assume to be uh, Lex, Lexi, uh, Trixie. Sorry, Trixie dives headfirst into the lake and begins swimming towards the bottom. Uh, <laughs> uh, Ma, you stop at the edge looking down and seeing no bottom and take a deep breath, pinch your nose, and dive in. Uh, yeah, and you guys I, swim I, I and wait swim until and swim. I... <laughs> yeah, no, I wait until I have some evidence that Trixie's not, like, uh, turning into a skeleton. Once oh I get God, just... that, I, I like. I let Trixie. I let Trixie eat all my food before I eat it. I let Trixie like go into any dangerous environment before I do. Trixie, she's Trixie, willing she's... to do that. Trixie literally thinks that you're like doing her a favor. You're feeding into her like selfish impulses of always wanting to do dangerous things. Oh yeah, no, totally. 
Yeah. yeah, and you swim and you swim and you swim until you feel like you cannot physically swim anymore, and then suddenly you break the surface. <gasps> it's me! That's fucked up. Ah. Oh, thank God, it's just me. You arrive outside of the moat of a mighty citadel, walls ascending uh, before you. There appears to be like a little slope that leads into the moat that you can climb yourself out of here with. Uh, Ma, you feel something graze against your leg. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna fucking get me out of here! Oh, we're leaving. We're leaving. Swim, swim, swim. Get the fuck out of there. Swim, 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 swim. Yeah, get scared. Go, go, go. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Uh, yeah, you guys eventually scramble your way out of the moat. Fucking uh, Michael Phelps. This is shit. just like that one movie. So, uh, there's the easy way, That's like the front door, or there's the hard way, and you could go back into the moat and try climbing the wall. Hmm. All right, climbing gear. We we have any? No. No. Hmm. Uh, hmm. I mean, there's just a drawbridge, and there's two guards just standing there. Maybe hmm. I I could try talking to the guards as long as you know uh, all of you uh, went with me. Uh, yeah, and... maybe. Sounds like a plan like, to me. Yeah, yeah, uh, Christ, oh my god, here, uh, just fucking gives you, uh, his awful, like, Saul Goodman-ass pinstripe jacket, just like, put, it, put, the, put this on, so you don't fucking die. <laughs> here, actually, narratively, I, I've realized having two southern characters in the party might be confusing over Discord, so I've decided she now has a slight stutter. <laughs> It's fine. Their the faces are different. I mean, to me at least, it's it's immediate. Oh yeah, no. I, also, oh, yeah, but I, also, I, I talk oh. so much slower than you do. Yeah, yeah. but also, I kind of like it though because it makes sense because her mouth is just so fucking fast. Flapping yeah. in a million ears. <laughs> Don't bite your tongue no now, dearie. No. I thought you were cold. You guys approach in your pinstripe sh uh, sweaters towards these guards who block your path with like these sort of like slab of rocks they're kind of spears kind of swords all confusing Halt, strangers need you to stay We're very home. still as we approximate your intentions all right I... all right just a, just a just a quick warning though my friend over here uh she's got a condition she's real fidgety physically hurts her if she stops it She's going to have to bounce a foot or something. Bounce uh, a single foot. Her... You may bounce a single foot and nothing more, okay? Thank you. Uh, and the ominous wording of the guard is made very clear when a massive eye manifests itself in front of you and stares at you with a large, dilating pupil. It widens suddenly as it fully reflects the entire team. Uh... And then a ghastly voice echoes from the apparition as it vanishes. Thieves! Scoundrels! Adventurers and envious louts! They seek the vault of Baphomet! Grant them passage! Grant them refuge! Let them plot and scheme as long as they please! So they may throw themselves at the vault! Watch with glee as they break body of mind and soul upon the rocks! <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the gate then begins to rise as you are now just sort of allowed in and the guards pull their giant uh, spear rock things to the side. She's still just kind of laughing. <laughs> They're kind of muttering what, to each other. What are we laughing at? Mm, the lucky ones he likes that every day. The gate. It's a poor bastard. Yeah, he sucks for you. She's little guys. Oh, right. there's a bunny. Yeah, I feel Don't bad. Don't fuck it. Like I heard that. Huh? Hey, don't! Eh? Don't yell at them! Have a, have a good one! Have a good one! Yeah, yeah, I'm walking, I'm walking! Bitch. Uh, the door <laughs> closes behind you. Um, 
So you guys are now free to explore the public areas of the citadel that surround the actual oh. vault. The entire citadel was built around this brutalist iron structure at the center of it, like a malignant growth. The sound of demons and chatter, commerce and violence ring out through this lively place. There are many places you can visit here, uh, and I encourage you to visit them and take your time to take a deep breath and collect gear information or advantages before stepping through to the vault's entrance. Speaking of, where the hell is the vault's entrance might be your first thought, for this brutalist structure before you is not any kind of standard construct. It is, in fact, very difficult to look at or make out. Many houses seem to be built off around it, using its plateaus as platforms to construct their foundations. The Citadel of Baphomet is a city of thieves. Um, these, uh, these structures were built by would-be robbers and miscreants. Uh, when many of them realized the task before them was too daunting, they simply decided to settle down, stay a while. And of course, as more oh. demons congregate in a single area, more demons congregate. Business, traders, other such would-be robbers just sort of showed up. God damn capitalism. You gotta stop saying that. Like, saying oh, what? Trixie, like, spins around in place several times over, like, whoa, this place is huge. It is. By the way, get my like, jacket back. I thought you had a fucking cold. You you were just stuttering. I feel lied to. Uh, somebody passes by, steals the jacket. <laughs> ah, <laughs> jokes on him. I have so many fucking. T I have ticks that they don't even have names for. That guy's fucked. That guy's fucked. Let's keep dead. walking. You guys are gonna. Uh, you guys are gonna find him wearing that jacket dead in an alley. It's the first blood oh, of the campaign. We're... Yeah, no, we're gonna find a skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the culture here is most apparently very ruthless, as most residents are career thieves and con men. There is a constant expectation that everyone other than your blood and brother is out to get you, and even then, blood is easy to trade. Alright. And pace. I like so this place. Feel, feel free to explore a little bit. <laughs> Trixie, like time. you you guys have you guys seen the 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 like meme of that cat like on all fours with like its butt up in the air just like wiggling super fast like yeah it's gonna that's count. her right now <laughs> she's like let me go yeah. <laughs> let me zoom <laughs> so i i will say uh you can steal from people while you're here there's no reason that you can't <laughs> oh <laughs> Ooh, actually, I might be kind of good at that. Hmm. Uh, the city of career thieves. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. okay. Um. Well, let me think uh, for a sec. Let me let me slow let me curly slow my mind down for a second so I can. Yeah. Play the fucking game. Get out of character. <laughs> <laughs> I don't typically play speedsters or people who talk fast. I am. This is the first character I've played since Pisces Six. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, uh, is there is, like that's... a bar? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you could definitely find one. Um, if you want to uh, take a narrative action to explore. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. Well, I'm rolling that against anything adding if it's a ch since this is just a check you just need to beat a 10 explore okay. is either a coordination or speed uh, uh, uh that's a 21 all right perfect yeah you find and anybody following you also finds the hanged man's last meal a high-end luxury bar uh, they ask you to turn your weapons in at the entrance and have a very strict policy that once you step through those boundaries, there is no violence, no stealing, and no nastiness. 
This is a location of only the highest order in calm, enforced with the brutal violence of two massive dyke bouncers. Oh! <laughs> I can't say no to a woman. You sincerely believe that if you were to pick a fight with them, there would be no fight. There would only be survival. Yeah. Yeah, no. I think Mott looks at this fucking shitty, bougie ass place that no one should ever go to, and it's just like, it's time to move up in the world. Let's go. <laughs> we. Uh, Trixie hands over her highly illegal poppets, uh, and she pops her two fangs out of her mouth. They're not fake, they're real teeth. She just takes them out. <laughs> And hands them to her, to the nice ladies. Yeah, uh, I'll I'll give them my gun. I'm going to like start hacking like like a dog for like five minutes before it just coughing up the, like a the thing. The only leads down just starts patting you on the back. Thank you, dearie. Yeah. Oh, she does this. She does this. Uh, and I cough up, like, a ball of goop yeah. and hand it to her. You could just put it in the box. Uh, just put it in the box. I... Oh, what is your... Wait, what is your actual thing? Is it like a... <laughs> what? Do... My thing? Or, like, what weapon did you just hand over? It has a spitter. It's a spitter. Oh, oh, it's... <laughs> So you literally spit into her fucking... Alright, just put put it in the box. And once you guys do that whole bit, um, you step in and there are plenty of people charming their way around. Stand back, boys. The professionals gotta get... I'll get us a good seat. Swaggers up. Woefully unprepared. Ah, what's the best seat in this place, and how can we get it? You just swagger up to anyone? Well, ideally someone who can seat us. Okay, uh, it seems that nobody really seats you here. It, it, it is just sort of, uh, it is a bar at the end of the day. Uh, yeah. Oh, fuck. You can just sort of find your own little spot, you know? Oh yeah, no, no, in that case, in that case, yeah, no, uh, we just <laughs> fucking sit down. Uh, yeah. I think he's like, oh man, I'm gonna be a fucking big shot about this, and then, oh, I'm in a bar. And he just kind of quietly sits down. Now that's, that there is adorable. So yeah, you guys could make, um... Pulling out my fucking book. I wrote this. But... <laughs> uh, you guys the can text. use the any text. narrative action to try and find somebody to speak with based on what you're looking for, information wise. Or if you just want to find anyone, you know, uh, you could, mm-hmm. you know, uh, you know, is there not an attract? There is a convince. But you could entertain, you could charm an NPC. I need to find. The largest woman. Okay. <laughs> Give me an investigation. No, no, this is a joke. This is a joke. I'm scared of women, actually. Uh, I oh think the God. biggest woman is going to find you, actually. Oh no, oh God. Why oh, no. did you open your mouth? <laughs> I, I would like to, I would like to find someone, uh, who looks like a regular... I would like to try and charm them into giving us information about things they've seen, uh, just sort of near the vault. Alright, uh, sort of roll with either attractiveness or wickedness for effect. Alright, let me look at my fucking... Oh, my attractiveness is, uh, plus two. Hey. Damn! Okay. Marx is hot! <laughs> Mine is a minus yeah, two. Yeah, no. Mott Mott is... um, Look, Mott might be an imp with the head of a rabbit. Uh, 
he's got kind of a Saul Goodman thing, I, I guess. He's got kind of a Reagan thing. If you're into wet towels of men, uh, true. You could you you could hurt him. Is the thing about Mott is you could hurt him. But how could you ever hurt that adorable fight? So you find kid. Henry. <laughs> you find Henry the Ivy. All right. Now let me just make this roll. Roll one d twenty plus two. Uh, that was in chat. I'm a dumb motherfucker. Oh, there is chat. You can't. You can't. Real this. Chat. No, I mean, I forgot the slash. Ah, uh, okay, so the party resources, you can see the name I posted in there, oh. Henry the Ivy. That's a four! Fuck. That's a oh, four. Oh, oh, oh. oh <laughs> hello, little rabbit man. Uh, hello. Oh. Hey. Ah, uh, I was... Hey, uh, good to see you. Uh, nice... Well, Holy I shit, mean, weather, talks. not really. Hmm. <laughs> See, I was wondering uh, if we could maybe talk shop, maybe trade stories. Uh, oh. You could let me know a thing. Hmm. This isn't working. Oh. All right, I'm going to go. You have a great day. That Night. was a fantastic turn to their friend. That was, that was amazing. What a thrill. What a, I love coming here. Mer Murder, 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 murder. No, not a Henry the Fourth. Uh, Henry the IV. No, Henry the Fourth. Yeah. <laughs> Henry uh, the just fourth fucking IV. Holding his holding his little fucking head, his nose twitching, just being like thinking about killing this guy with hammers. Just come on, think about nice, pretty things, uh, lively footage, uh <laughs> girls one car. Uh, puppies, girls, women getting hit by cars. Okay, women, feel better. Uh, Arf. Yeah, take or leave it. Bork. Anyways, you want to talk to Bork Girl? <gasps> is That's... Bork Girl walking up to me? Is she the, yeah. the largest woman? Oh yeah. God, yeah, yeah. I suppose you're about to get woman done. Yeah, what do I what do I need to roll? Uh, to survive. Um, can you give <laughs> yeah. me like a like a mentality check? Mentality. Yeah. Cool. And this is with be difficulty because a woman. Uh, this is this is yeah. Take difficulty. Take it. Uh, oh, you should have brought it up. <laughs> uh, so that's a four. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, we match. So Bork Girl walks up to you, um, Donnelly, and kind of leans in. It, um, how to describe Bork Girl? Uh, beautiful fat butch woman. Uh, <gasps> my God damn it. Hey. Uh, uh, hey there. No, you can't speak. You are actually mute now. <laughs> oh, You're scared. Somebody needs to you help just you. Just like a goat. You you look at you look at Bork Girl like a deer in headlights. Huh? Yeah. You ever see those videos of goats getting fucking panic attacks and like stiffen up and falling over? Yeah, somebody needs to come in for a rescue here. Somebody needs to come in to snap you out of this. Donna, yeah, Donna Lee has done that. Mod just looking around. Trixie, go in there! <laughs> what the fuck is she gonna do? Okay! <laughs> Fucking roundhouse kicks Donald, Donnelly in the back of the head. Mm -hmm. Ow! Ah. No. Owie. I don't know, I mean, is that what you do? Yeah, sure, might as well. <laughs> yeah, you roundhouse kick them in the back of the head. Uh, Donnelly, that resets your brain real quick. Give me that mentality check again. Oh. Uh, Bork Girl's looking at you concerned. Okay. Uh, 15. Are Much you better. Okay. You can speak. Are you uh, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, 
doing all right. Fucking I, dusting. I came, I came over here to, to flirt with you aggressively, but now I'm a little worried. No, you, you should... You should do that. You, you know, us goat folk sometimes start to panic. And we get paralyzed and we fall over. Oh, are you scared of me? That's cute. Hey. <laughs> Possibly. Anyways, uh, she orders you two drinks and you guys talk. Hell yeah. Uh, and she talks about how she had come here, but uh, heard about this secret entrance that some guy was talking about. Uh, but she figures it's probably a trap, and nobody she knows has gone out to test that theory. Yeah, we just walked in through the front door. That's not the front door to the vault. That's the front door to the Citadel. Yeah, to this- oh, you're talking about the vault. I'm talking about the vault. Oh. Yeah. I think his name's Virgil? I don't know. Uh, he keeps talking Virgil. about some secret entrance. Hey, Ma, have you heard anyone named Virgil? Uh, eh, fuck, yeah, fuck. No? There's like a hundred what? guys uh, in hell Virgil. Yeah. That's like one of the most common names. It's like the John of Hell. <laughs> I was about to say that. There's a lot of storms and they're all approaching. I have a barber named I have a barber named Virgil. What are you talking about? What? Uh, uh. Never mind then. So so uh, are you okay? Are, yeah, I'm perfectly okay. 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 I, I I sent Trixie because she, you I'm, know, I'm giving thumbs it. up. I'm being healthy. Okay. She like kicks her little feetsies at the bar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you are, Trixie. Good job. Yeah, I don't Every know. I don't know where that be. secret entrance is, and I don't believe in none of it. I mean, you see a lot yeah, of people here really who talk real confident about that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. But I mean, like, who really wants to talk about business here? I come here to avoid business, frankly. I'm all about pleasure, you know, personally. The same here. <laughs> you barely come up to, like, my thigh. Yeah. I sure do. Man mentality check. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> You're gonna... <laughs> She's gonna die. Yeah, I sure do. I'm, I'm going to have to mute my... That's a nine? Okay, oh. awesome. Uh, you go mute again, that's fine. Bork Girl picks you up by your head and starts just sort of carrying you away like a briefcase. Oh. Uh, Dude, Bork Girl uh, says Mott something to you and... towards the effect of, hey, I'm gonna take you I'm gonna take you home now. Um, and, and you, uh, do not have the capacity to even, uh, uh, your brain fries instantly when she says that. Here, could <laughs> I, I, I think... could I, uh, pull a looney tunes real quick and rush over and swap out dana and like slip a like mug of beer into her hand as she walks away because <laughs> it'd be funny and dana and the mug of beer are not even remotely the same shape i mean like yo like i grab i grab a i mean like their head i mean like it's like you mean like a like a like a keg <laughs> uh, uh, yes. This is incomprehensible. Yeah. This is yeah, incomprehensible. I agree. <laughs> Not wanna... even in character. Uh... <laughs> I wanna. I wanna. No, the real Bugs Bunny bit would be uh, swapping Donnelly out. Yeah, dressing with, up, dressing um... up like Donnelly. Uh, yeah, dressing and, up and... like Donnelly and swapping places. With Mott her. would do. Oh my God, Mott. Oh my God, Mott would do that. Oh no! Ma I okay. just realized. Awesome! Is that what you're doing? Give me a wickedness check. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah, no, because uh, that. So went... I... <laughs> yeah, no. I think Mont's just gonna stand up and be like, uh, "Donnelly, you want you, you want this, right? This is good." <laughs> just fucking immediately, I think, despite his 
shittiness uh, upon seeing someone get carried off by the skull after going limp he, in a bar. He is immediately going to be like, this is, we, we, we want this, right? This is good. Uh, it's important to note she isn't limp. She's stiff. Oh, All of her okay. limbs are Carrying like her like a board, poking out. Yeah, just Throw like give me a shoulder like a, a great a, sword. Yeah, yeah no. give me a yes ba or a no ba. Uh... Huh? Dilate your pupils in a direction to indicate your intent. Uh. Uh. Uh, I dilate my pupils once. Hmm. Oh, yep, she did the look. She's fine. <laughs> I don't think I... goats can dilate their pupils, but it's okay. You're a it was, demon. It was a, it was a funny bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm a demon. Yeah, I, I think, think goats dilating their... like a normal rabbit? I think no. not dilating their... <laughs> Or goats dilating their pupils would look really fucked up, and I'm here for <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, it would, because you're uh, a demon. Yeah. So, yeah, you've uh, learned a bit about Virgil, who might help you with the secret entrance, but you have no idea where the fuck he is. Um, somebody else right. here might know, because uh, apparently it's hot gossip. Can I ask around about Virgil and now that yeah, I have that lead absolutely. and uh, yeah. our take, previous take an, take an so... accuracy with your with your attractiveness. Wow. So that's an additional D6? Yes. You're hot and knowledgeable. All right. Yeah, uh and and a rare commodity cuz I'm going to be fucking dead by the end of the campaign. Uh, <laughs> that's why they like me. They can sense that it's a limited time thing. Ah, uh, God, vile things on my tongue. <laughs> yeah, no, you can say it. I'm not gonna uh, say it. It's getting recorded and saved to your channel, but yeah, you can. I'm not gonna All right, say DM it. it to me. DM <laughs> it to me. Uh, yeah, DM it. Put yeah, it in the DM. chat. <laughs> Put it in the chat. Yeah, God. no, please, please whisper vile secrets into my ear while I pretend to be a fictional rabbit. This is normal and healthy. Uh, yeah. So, so do I? Do you want me to roll the one d twenty plus two uh, plus and the d six together? Uh, can you? Yeah. Okay. Two plus one d six. Oh, that's one d seven. One d six. Yeah, a d seven is not real. Okay, you pass. So that's you run 15. into uh, not gendered knife person, child of the knives. Hmm. Uh, the seed taken? No. <sighs> Six, uh, you motherfucker. They're, they're sitting there with like four other people. And one of them's a baby. What? <laughs> Just in the bar? Just chilling? Yeah, chilling. Got Six, a you motherfucker. What? What? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I see what we're doing. Oh, it's, I fucking reference? recognize this motherfucker. Yeah, no, this is Raven from Euphoria. It's just uh, a Raven <laughs> voice. <laughs> yeah, no, the uh, knife child is. Here's oh, yeah. uh, knife uh, man. Here, let me get back into the character. Knives. That's here's me. knife woman, child of the knives. Uh, I'm not gendered knife person, child of the knives. Here's a ven very gendered knife person, child of the knives. And here's a knife child, baby of the <laughs> knives. Oh, shit. <laughs> It's rare here, to see a. We came uh, here for like a family field trip. Oh, it's you know it's lovely to see families uh, sticking together in hell. You know it's hard to keep a unit when people die so horribly so often. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. yeah. So we were, yeah, we used to all be mortals, and then we did ritual sacrifices until we all became demons. Oh man, that's crazy. Uh, Tell me all about it. I'm 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 all ears, and and he swivels as he he swivels his little rabbit ears. So like, people don't understand the intricacies of um, and then they just go on and on about like the logistics of stabbing someone to death for Satan. Yeah. Hmm. And Fascinating. That's why uh they deserved it at Waco. 
<laughs> right, 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 yeah. Uh, quick question, real quick. Uh, uh -huh. Since you seem very knowledgeable about matters of violence and how they intersect with local demonic politics, yes. uh, you got any idea? You got any idea uh, about a, a Virgil character been running around telling people about a secret entrance? Oh, uh, no, he's not a specific around, Virgil here. He actually just sort of sits in one spot. He lives up in the upper reaches of the Citadel, like one of the earliest built oh. homes. Um, All right, good to know. Good to if know. You just take Can I get a straight, description? Yeah, if you just go right and take it straight from there, and you just keep going on upwards, he's like at the very top of that kind of like weird almost staircase like structure that the citadel starts to take on or sorry not the citadel the phallic the one vault. or the other one the other one okay um, all right thank you uh i really yeah, appreciate it uh not yeah. gendered nice person child of the knives you just call me jen oh my god thank you this entire time i've been like yeah, hi. Uh, offers a little paw. I, I'm Mott. Uh, just Mott. Uh, cool. It's lovely to meet someone who's who's not being... Uh, I mean, I take it you're out of town. You're from out of town, not from the Citadel. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everybody here is from uh, planets. Yeah. Uh, just sort of looks around. Uh, gets in real close. Is it just me or is the vibe a little condescending? Uh, yeah, professional thieves kind of do that, especially when you, like, take your profession as something as abstract and weird as thievery. Right, I like, think that's so weird, like, you- Be a bit more specific, like, non yes. What are you stealing? Right. Be right. a con man, like, god what damn. Are yeah, god, at least have the decency to defraud someone. Right. Like, us respectable people do. Fucking yeah. hell. Uh, like, come on, like, you're you're just gonna come in here and you're gonna say, oh yeah, I'm a thief. What do you mean by that? What the fuck? You don't know anything about this yeah. community. <laughs> oh, no, but I'm opinionated on it. Yeah, no, I fucking hate those guys. You don't have to know things. Yeah, yeah. Alright, well, uh, uh, I'm gonna head back with my posse. We gotta talk to this Virgil character. Yeah, cool. You have a lovely family trip, and uh, hey, if we're still in town, uh, well, if you're going you into know. the vault, I uh, don't think I'll be seeing you again. So I guess this is goodbye. Ah, uh, shit! You're right. You want to fuck now? <laughs> uh, Jen, Jen, uh, Jen looks at you and just stands. It's like, <sighs> yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, yeah, bathroom. I the holes already carved, buddy. Actually, that that, that counts. <laughs> holes already carved. Uh, I was counts? about to make a joke. It's like, no, actually, sex in here is considered violence, and then we'll get beat up and kicked out. Let's just do it in the alleyway outside. <laughs> oh God, where did where did the wolf girl take Donna? Da oh, daps up same very gender way. knife person. No, home. Uh, oh yeah. You get brought home. to her rink a dink shit ass apartment. Good. Aww. She lives like I trash. Bet she has a Sega Dreamcast. No, she has a, a Sega Nightmare yeah, Throw. Oh uh, well, yeah, that's just the wait. Dreamcast. Nightmare real. Nightmare real because casting with a fishing rod and then the opposite of casting is reeling, so it's a nightmare reel. Yeah. Thank you. All right. I hate that. I'm going yeah. to kill you. Yeah, the only console they have in hell is the Virtual Boy and the Nightmare Reel. <laughs> uh, yeah, so yeah, you have most of the information you could get out of here, you feel. You know, you feel like you'd be walking mm. into things pretty well armed. I... So while all of this is happening, I would like to do a thing. Go ahead. Yeah, all right. Go ahead, Trixie. So while... I was just Let's about to ask it. you. While all of this is happening... Trixie has forgotten why she's come in here, and I would like to just make a random entertain roll using my coordination uh, to just be entertaining. <laughs> okay. okay, awesome. And that's uh, six. Okay, so roll. She's just gotten completely sidetracked because her two handlers have left. 
Uh, and oh, no! Now, and now she is just dancing and juggling and doing a whole bunch of other fun doing stuff a whole with ass other party routine. goers. Okay, yeah, you yep. <laughs> are absolutely doing a whole fucking routine now, and some people have gathered around you, and they've started throwing blood grits at you, not, like, tossing it to you as, like, a tip. No, they are literally throwing it at, pelting you with blood grits to make you dance mm -hmm. more. <laughs> yeah, she, leaving, like, leaving bruises. She, like, catches a few yeah, of them, hurts. like, in her mouth and, like, swallows <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you get ten blood grits out of all that once you collect it. Cause some people Pog. are throwing it, walking Shh. up, picking it back up, and then throwing it again. <laughs> <laughs> not even actually, not even dedicating to it. They're just, uh, and eventually, you know, a character <laughs> by the name of, uh, yeah, a, a, a very uh, ambiguous creature thing, um kind of like a horned lizard looking motherfucker uh claps huh? once everybody else is sort of like dissipated into the crowd yeah very funny very funny uh you're new here aren't you yeah we just got out of the lake yeah i can tell you're still wet <laughs> that's usually the giveaway <laughs> and you smell like moat well, he, uh, he doesn't sniff. He looks. He looks at the air. <laughs> you smell like moat. He's <laughs> a little tongue. Yep. Oh, I can't not fuck him. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, what's your name? Consider done. <laughs> Consider done. Consider done. Oh, is that all one thing, or is it like consider done? It's it's two words. <laughs> well, nice to meet you, consider. My name's Trixie Spice, and she like holds out her hand to like shake his. Oh yeah. yeah uh, does and, it way too enthusiastically. Uh, you go in for it like a elementary school wrestling meet. You just fucking whip that shit. Um, but this <laughs> dude's kind of fucking beefed. And you whip your arm upwards to try and whip his hand, and you just throw your shoulder out, and you're like, "Oh, <laughs> push it back down." <laughs> oh, good, good attempt. Great, great. That's attempt. a strong arm you got, Mister. Oh, uh, you know, I have roughly two hundred pounds on you. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bit dense, bit big boned. So, <laughs> I heard that. I heard that. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> so so uh, you live here? Oh yeah, for a while now. Yeah. So, have you tried getting into? You know, have you tried to get in, get in, get into the vault? Ah, uh, no. I used to back when my name when was nothing done. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. And when I arrived, I thought, hey, I could steal some things. But then I got mugged at the entrance and thought, maybe uh, the burglar's life is not cut out for me. And since I didn't have Ow. any more money to leave, nor did I know of a portal to get out, I just sort of stuck here. And now I'm big. Oh, hey, the exact same thing happened, happened to me. My friend's coat got stolen right off my back. It had a lot of lice in it. Your friends <laughs> looks around. Uh, where are your friends? Oh yeah, they're uh 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 close. She realizes that she's lost track of everyone. You know, I could stay with you for a time to you know keep you out of trouble, lest you get you know mugged. Am I really about to take this bait? Of course I am. You'd really do that for for me? <laughs> but of course, I'm. Uh, of course, I'm very. Uh, I'm, I'm very sympathetic to being a new person in this city. Oh well, ain't you the sweetest lizard creature I ever met? I forget what kind of demon I am. <laughs> 
think I was. I feel like that's pretty common in hell. Yeah, you sort of lose track if you're not specifically doing, you know, um, devil's advocate work because they get real into the weeds with it. Ah, uh, sounds like when I used to, sounds like sounds like when I used to live in a cult. Yeah, it's it's a weird thing. If you want to be you specialized for combat and power, you have to lean super hard into your archetypes in order to pull power from their representations. If you stop, you just sort of melt. Hmm. Maybe I was an Apophis? I don't remember. <laughs> I really don't. Uh, it's been a while. Like, oh, I don't know, one or two eternities? That sort of thing. So, uh, I suppose... Well, I suppose this is the safest place you can be to not get mugged. I shall just stay oh, yeah. with you till your friends arrive, okay? Yeah, we well, should probably try and find them. They gotta be really close here. I mean, they would come looking for you, would they not? Mm, well, yeah, but that means I'd have to sit here and, you know, if I did that... <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'm starting to get the picture. I might die. I'm starting to get the picture. I'm, I, might liter I, might liter I might literally die. You but then pauses I'm, and looks I'm, at you with like raised eyebrows. I you have explode. some sort of affliction. Were you cursed? No, no, no. I'm just, I'm just, I'm gonna die. That's that's upsetting. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go looking for him. Okay. Um, <laughs> you two head out the door. Could you give me a? Could you just give me a mentality check? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Why not? I hope this guy is not someone who's going to try to kill us, because I like him. Mm -hmm. I'm going to feel bad if I have to peel his face. Yeah, you step out the door and you turn around and you immediately see a uh, not-gendered knife person and your friend, uh, Mott, just Mott. <sighs> I, I want you to know, not gendered uh, knife person is holding Mott like, a, like a fucking trophy, like just sort of by the scruff. Yeah, by the scruff. <laughs> holding Mott uh, like you hold a pet bunny. It's crazy. I think... Oh, there's one of them. Hey, Mott. Oh, uh, hi. Uh... <laughs> This is one of your friends. I can just drop you off at this. Yeah. Cool. Thanks for the. I hope thanks. we meet again. Yeah, great time. Uh, no. Man, I didn't know people could fold like that. <laughs> Walks back inside the bar. <laughs> oh, well, it seems you found your friend. Yeah, hi. Consider done. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hi. Wait, is, is consider your name or an expression you're using? Consider done as my name. Alright, I'm glad we ironed that out real quick. We could have done a whole bit about that, and that would have been a waste of time for both of us. Uh, I am not yeah, Abbott nice Costello. You, they went to the deepest parts of hell. <laughs> of course First they sodomy. did. They're comedians. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Shit, you can get promoted for that? No, yeah, nods. <laughs> Shit! Fuck, I haven't been declaring my sodomy, I... You might want to get, uh, you might want to get your friend's card then, so you can get the information down, so you can declare yeah. it on your next, yeah. I've been <laughs> sodomized, like, so many times in the past month. I didn't know they... Is it like food stamps? <laughs> I don't know what that concept is. Uh, just another thing we invented here in hell. Uh, anyways. I think, I'm pretty it's sure great. concepts it's a poverty of, thing. I'm, I'm pretty sure <laughs> concepts of evil are more trickled down from humans for us. I don't think we invent shit. That makes sense. Sorry, I've been sleeved. 
brains a little. Uh, <laughs> just sort of like throws their eyebrows up. Oh yeah, we're going to use that terminology. You have a very colorfully, you have a very colorful friend, uh, Trixie. <laughs> yeah, he, he's pretty great. I don't. He's a fi- uh, He's a mythological figure, you know. He's famous. Oh, are you like the rabbit from Alice in Wonderland? Well, it's more complicated than that. Technically, I am the March Hare, but I am a. I was roughly my likeness was used by Lewis Carroll, and that was the one time. But that's not me. I don't have a watch. And I'm much more famous for my work in fables, and tricking humans, and the, like, oh, dying in traps and stuff. That's my main thing. Dying in traps and stuff. Are you down to your last Well, life? like, not... You smell weird. Licking their tongue. Licking their tongue out. I keep doing a sniffing noise, but they're licking their tongue. Don't... No, their, don't their tongue can you. sniff. Immediate, yeah, immediate, what's it to you, fucker? <laughs> Immediately stands up straight, entire body rigid, uh, hand drifting to forehead. Why? You gonna try something? <laughs> no. <laughs> Slowly lowers paw from temple. What an interesting uh, bunch you are. Fuck. I'll leave you with your friend then, Trixie. I've done my due diligence. Yeah. You're a good guy. Oh, okay, absolutely thank you. not. I was Thanks, being considered. relative. Alright, I can take that. I can take that compliment. <laughs> Here, they, I'll be they, like, right back in just one second. That was the scariest thing that's ever fucking happened to me. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, you guys don't don't really know where uh, Donnelly went. Um, but you kind of wait at the bar for them. And eventually, uh, you see s- wobbling their legs down the street. Walking with like a limp. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> It's very important that Donna Lee is still soaked. Soaked. And oh. various fluids. Oh, okay, so that's two of us now. Uh... Hey, Donna, where'd you go? Uh, 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 y- you know... Uh, you smell weird. Girl. Did she pee on you? Pee in his... Getting don't be, pissed on Don't be fucking the... rude. Just because her name's a Bork girl doesn't mean she pees on people. <laughs> this is a fucking family-friendly channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, it is? Why are you playing this game? <laughs> huh? This is a family-friendly game. This yeah, game is, this for, game is for, Peggy, for Peggy, Peggy 12 or whatever, I don't know. Yeah, this game There's is like a whole for... sex demon class. I saw it in the archetypes list. No. The the family no. that watches this channel are the knife the children of the knives. That's yeah, the family that knife watches. baby watches this channel. <laughs> we <laughs> are knife baby coco melon. Good. Anyways, Good. Getting pissed on is was the least of my concerns there. Alright. Yeah, no, I was I was worried there that she was gonna like traffic your organs. Uh I wouldn't have been able to stop her. I was fucking bluffing. I don't got no organs. I hope you know. <laughs> Just sort of touches your stomach, feel like pats around. You do, you do see that there are scars. So many scars. Fresh, fresh scars. No sh. No shit. I. I always knew that. Of course, I'd be a. Be a real bad boss if I didn't know that. You ain't my boss. I'm boss adjacent. Uh huh. <laughs> Hell of a boss. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill you. Don't you fucking dare! I'm I gonna kill that as you. Soon as I said it. Look, I, I, I just wanted to play shitty. 
Thank God, because yes. that's so much. I just wanted to play shitty Saul Goodman. <laughs> don't, don't bring, don't bring fucking. Uh, am Blitzo. I allowed to say Blitzo. mean things? No, I was going to say mean things about the creator of Hell of a Boss. Oh, uh, we're no, we're no yeah. protectors here, I suppose. Uh, but regardless, I have to mention it first because you know you can't make a, a, a property centered around Hell without everybody bringing up every fucking popular iteration of Hell. Like it's not the most used setting in all the fucking fiction. Yeah. Oh man, I love I love all the Lost in Vivo references you put in this game. I I, <laughs> I think I had somebody else oh, was it. referencing a Shakespeare play at one point. It's so funny. <laughs> Yeah, this is really giving me Dante's Inferno vibes. Well, Dante's it's, Inferno's it's intentional. It's giving Virgil. Yeah, it's giving Virgil. Let, let's get it's naked good. in the rain and fight each other with swords. Please? So, yeah, you guys make your way towards where Virgil's abode would be. Climbing and climbing and climbing as you ascend into a thin atmosphere area of the, uh... The vault. That's really funny because that's implying that there's gravity here. There is. Uh, it's just not centered around a planet, it's centered around devils. Uh huh. That's pretty cool, actually. So, following the lead, great, we're all important. Of the hangman. No, you're not devils, you're demons. They're very different. What is this? <laughs> like DD? Yeah, uh, well, no. It's it's very different, actually. Uh, don't please ask what me, dice we use. Me, please kill me. So you ascend to his perch, uh, and once you do, you just knock on his door. Well, I don't see why not. Yeah, we're not threatening. But the, the door opens don't... slightly and reveals a wizened old Krampus with a long <gasps> beard that seems to be trailed around his entire home. Like, he's just been walking around, trailing it behind him, and it's just, it's never caught up. God, oh, that beard has got to be so gross. Uh, if you're here, then that means you want to know about the secret entrance. No one comes up here for any other reason. Come. How's your day been? It's been fine. Come on in. Uh, don't expect the hospitality. I'm just going to give you what you want and send you back off. I... That's... Yeah, that's fine with me. I appreciate someone who knows what they want and uh, knows how to communicate. It's not like it matters whether I give you the key to the secret entrance or not. You're likely to die, so it's not like I'm making much of a real choice anymore. And he pulls out two vials of dark amber liquid. These here are the keys. You drink these, split amongst all you, and approach the far east wall. There's a clearing where nobody's built anything. You'll notice changes. And from there on, it should be obvious. I... That's easy. Uh... What, what sort of changes should we expect? Should we invest in a new wardrobe, or...? No, you'll be fine. Can I, okay. can I like, smell him? Can I give him a sniff? Go ahead. <laughs> Shoves you out the door. Go. Yeah, go, yeah, yeah. go, go, uh, go, 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 I'm leaving, I'm, the way down. slams the door behind you. Yeah, no, I, I, Trixie was out the door five minutes ago. <laughs> I think Mod just sort of rests his fucking head on the door, on the door, and it's just like, well, I was gonna say thank you, this is probably the nicest interaction I've had today. Oh, really? I had a pretty good interaction with the orc girl. Yeah, I bet you did. All right, I'm, let's go. I'm still soaking in the fluids. Thank you, uh, Virgil. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry about everything. <laughs> and we... <laughs> we leave. So, I will say, there is one more location that you guys could find and explore. Um, 
Uh, and there's also, of course, stealing. <laughs> you find. I'd like to uh, live. Trinkos, trinkets, and truffles. <gasps> Trinko sounds like a slur. I hope you know that. Uh, inside yeah, is a proprietor grandpa's... known as Trinko. Uh, he has a truffle pig head. Hello. Hey, Welcome hey, to Trinko's Trinkets and Truffles. Are you here to sell? Sorry, are you here to pawn goods? I have many things in my shop and and I'm here to go through the motions with you. Ooh, do you have this a looks like a building, pond? not a pond. We we hey, got it don't we got all that. I mean we also have truffles. Ooh. Uh, we talk in uh, enchanted magical or otherwise bewitched or just mushrooms. Just like the really good truffles. Just good truffles. They sell truffle oil oh, that's a, as, as well. If you that's like, its own kind. It's um, it's a really good in raw ingredient for, for cooking. Oh, God, please, yeah, it's no. The best. Wait, how really? how much? I, yeah, I'm. A, yeah, I was a prep chef uh, for a few uh, years. Trinko looks like he could fucking cry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was a line cook. Hey, just yeah, no, I was here. a line. I was a line cook back as a little. Here, just take some. <laughs> and he hands you, like, a little basket of four truffles. Just take some. Aww. Just fucking take them. Come here I, look at, I look at him. I look at him. I pull a paw on his shoulder. And I say, uh, Trinko, uh, if I live, I'm gonna come back here. And I'm gonna make you whatever you want. Thanks, boss. With some of that truffle oil. Listen. No problem. I just, this used to just be a truffle business. It used to be just Trinko's truffles. But people just kept coming here and asking if they could fence stolen goods, and I just kept saying yes. Oh, uh, you don't, you don't gotta do that no more, buddy. You're moving up. You got your money. You got a place. It's okay to do what you gotta do, but you know you gotta send. You, you gotta think about Trinko sometimes. Yeah, Talking yeah, out know. of his ass entirely. Yeah. All right. See, you, yeah. See you on the flip. Uh, uh, so just you walks can buy, out with like, the anything that's listed as like optional gear or like other gear you could buy here. Bet. That's good to know. But I more don't importantly, have money. you can you can sell stolen goods here if you want to make some money. Double bet. Mm -hmm. Okay. So man, thank God I got that ten gold actually because I realized a lot of the like actual gear is seventy five and I think I spent too much. On the meat and blood, so I was at seventy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but now I'm at eighty, uh, so I can get stuff and things and etc. Uh, hmm. Okay, so let's actually properly read these. Uh, entrapment device, tripping fodder. Uh, descent. Gear. Hmm. Oh, we probably could have really used the descent gear earlier. Maybe that'd be good. Uh, uh, what are you guys kind of thinking? I don't got no money. Oh. Oh, right. Here, let me let me check my current amount of currency. Uh. I have, uh, how, is there like a flat amount of blood grits you're supposed to start with? Oh yeah, sorry, uh, for this adventure you should have 3, 3d, uh, 3d10 times 10? Uh, 3d6 uh, times 10. Yeah, 3d6. 3d6 oh. times 10. I'm sorry, uh. <laughs> yeah, ruffles no, through, yeah, uh, yeah. pants pockets. Uh, uh, yeah, let me see. Well, let's see it. Oh. Right. oh, what? Error 3d6 is not a valid chat, but... Right. Oh. 
there. Uh, oh. It's gonna fucking do this to me. Thank you. Nice. Christ. 80. Alright. Yep, 80. Uh, 80 blood grits. Awesome. Okay. Um... Right, let me see. Uh, I think it would probably be a good idea to get some, like, explosives. Uh... uh... My reasoning being... Uh -huh. If the... If the exit collapses on us, we're gonna need another way out. Mm -hmm. uh, I and don't it know would if pay. We can... I don't know if we can buy explosives. I don't think that's a. Uh... Am I just am I just looking at the other equipment? Uh, yeah, boxes? other equipment. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't see. Oh, yeah. oh, ju just the other. I'm a sorry. I, also, I, explosive weapons refer specifically to guns, essentially. Okay, okay, good to know. So, no, no, uh, no spelunky bullshit here. Good to know. Uh, you probably could, but like, uh, just not in the way that I have things set up. Systems Ooh, flexible. hey, what about what about uh, what about this light source six? Tell me about this items. Is this kind of like a like a torch? Can I use this over and over again? Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. You could use it over and over again as you as you wish. Oh, cool. Okay, I might kind of want that. That sounds useful for... Uh, there's also the Dark Source, the Anti-Torch. Uh, yeah, I, know the, you have I some, saw that. I feel like somebody <laughs> has Dark Fiend. Uh, so do we have Descent Gear yet? Uh, we do not. Not yet. I'm thinking either Tripping Fodder or uh, Navigation Assistance. Uh, because I feel like either of those could be really good. Uh, well, I mean, I, I asked about the navigation uh, assistance earlier, and Six said it probably wouldn't be that that super for oh. kind of quest. Sorry! Uh, no, 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 I'm you're a, good, you're good. I'm, I'm a bimbo. I've been bimbo-fied. Uh, <laughs> Whoa, one night with fucking no, non-gendered I... knife person. Also, I realized something, so that dude, did you say non-gendered knife person's nickname is Jen? Jen. Then what about very gendered knife person? Ver. Oh, that's ver. Uh, yeah, that's ver. And then the baby is just called ba Bab. <laughs> yeah, I'm writing this down. Uh, yeah, no, uh, definitely gonna get uh, <laughs> yeah, gonna get uh, some tripping fodder. You know, some of the old snares. Uh, you know, reminds me of my glory days before things went so 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 wrong. Everything. <laughs> Yeah, so okay. you spend those blood grits, you trade them in with Trinko, who's more than happy. It was that fucking tortoise. Then, in ever that ever case, since it's all been downhill. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead. <laughs> I'll go ahead and splurge on the light source, which means we are probably gonna forego the decent gear until we either uh, come back to it or we steal some more stuff to sell, because once I buy the light source, then I'm going to be at, like, um... Uh, I'm going to be short. So. Uh, but I think the light source is probably just generally more useful for, like, a vault. In mm -hmm. my brain. Um, and I, I don't think we'll need a dark source. Probably not. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll, get, I'll get the light source, please. Alright, yeah. Down on my sheet. Oh, yours hands you, like, a stick. <laughs> if you ch if you crack it in half, it glows. Awesome. <laughs> we get like... a lot of ravers. <laughs> She's like starts shaking it, like compulsively, mystifying. Anyways. <laughs> So, yeah. Uh, Ill-gotten gains? <laughs> Ill-gotten gains. Okay, uh, uh, alright. I'm trying to goad you into stealing shit. <laughs> how, how, how does one steal? All, we are all... What, what's the stealing stat? <laughs> uh, there is no specific stealing stat. You just need to sell me on one. 
I think of it as Blades in the Dark esque. You could use any of them. I that's I don't I've never played that game. Okay, think of it as uh uh Sapphic World esque. A sapphic world that doesn't have skill. Uh, so I'm uh, uh, going to kill you. Here, so uh okay. So when it comes to stealing stuff like um can we steal like specific items? Mayhaps some of these denizens have like, some <coughs> cool specific shit. I have a chart with specific shit on it, but oh. you're gonna, you, but I in my brain, uh, I'm gonna give it to you after I see what you roll. I see, I see. Okay, well in that case, in that case, ah, crack my knuckles here. See what we got on the little sheety sheet. Uh, okay. I think I could make, well, the most obvious one uh, for me would probably be, like, speed. Um, if you're looking for something more, oh, actually, is there a more specific steel action? Not sure. Blah, blah, blah. No, there's not. You you could use any oh. of your stats. You just got to sell me on it. You got to tell me what okay. you're trying to do. All right. Well, I, as you may know, am fast. You could consider wickedness to be your steel <laughs> skill. Yeah, but I'm not good at Because wickedness is specifically <laughs> about trickery, but you don't have to use it for that. Nah, I'm just going to bum rush someone. <laughs> <laughs> you are going to absolutely fucking speed demon this. Okay. I, I, yeah, I'll, I'm just going to bum it. rush him. <laughs> Do it. You're no using finesse. the Sandeva stand. <laughs> How dare yeah. you? I'm going to beat you as I'm absolutely Sandeva standing this dude. Tent. <laughs> well, wow. A guy um, is pulling out something yeah. from his pocket, and you just. Doink. <laughs> and if you check party resources, you got this. Midnight snack, food, pog, someone's lunch still warm for staying in their pockets. Unlikely it will go for much, but you will certainly feel devious if you eat the thing. Three blood grass. Oh, that's how much it goes three. for. Three. Man. I should have just that's kept a... dancing. <laughs> yeah, what food is it even? Lunch. Lunch, lunch. flavored. Snack. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, oh it's, it's girl dinner. I understand. It's girl dinner. <laughs> You picked up a like uh, um, a Tupperware with a pack of Newports and a monster. That's oh, girl, Christ! Right. Oh God! A nekomata has been here. <laughs> this is some cat girl food. <laughs> Good. Nice. Uh, well, uh, I guess Anybody that was my go. <laughs> Anyone else? Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll steal something. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm I, really hoping for more from that. I... So Donnelly, Donnelly is a bit... sneakier than just bump-rushing someone. So she's gonna, like... find, like, a little corner of a building and just, like snag something from someone walking by. Do you want to give me a coordination? Yeah. Yeah, let's see a coordination check, please. That's a 14. 14? Okay, that's a that's a bit of a it's a bit of a degree higher than uh, the previous roll. What do I get? What do I get? The infinite drought of beasthood. You what just fucking fuck? snag a liquid out of someone's hands. Not their hands, like out of their back pocket. They just had like a fucking bottle in their back pocket. And you're just like, okay. <laughs> a silver lime vial with dark purple liquid. 40 blood grit pog. Okay, but what happens it. if. Yeah, I was gonna say, what happens if I drink this? You don't know until you drink it. Ooh. What does it smell like? It smells like hair. Ew. What, what, what's the texture? Purple sloshy? Hair. <laughs> uh, it's... It's very... It's it's mercurial in its, te in its texture. 
Oh, I can't not drink this. Yeah, I'll drink uh, hey. it. Yeah. Oh, hey there, what are you, uh, uh oh, no, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Me, when I drink strange liquids, I steal off of people. Drinking from what do you have in your mouth? We'll give the imp one of the following. A case of the stupid eyes. Their eyes are able to dilate wildly. This gives them the ability to always be able to see, regardless of light level, potentially grant some tertiary feline features, or loyalty and integrity to anyone who will give them a little treat. They feel normal about collars, potentially grants them some tertiary canine features. Cat girl uh, or dog girl? Pick. Oh, I'll, I'll go cat girl. I'll go okay. cat goat girl. Uh, you grow a cool. cat tail immediately. Awesome. Oh. oh wow, that that oh. actually looks really good on you. Why thank you. I think it matches nicely with the moves and my horns. Yeah, if you had a tail Looking previously, it just got turned into a cattail. Trixie like Trixie starts like like <laughs> eyes wide, no thought, head empty, just kinda of start tapping it. Like bap bap. My yeah. tail? Bap. Yeah, you you have a tail, just bap. Your fucking ears twitch. Uh, Wait, you have cat ears now. Oh, I have cat ears now? Yeah. Oh, that looks that looks so cute with the fucking goat horns. Uh, yeah, no, a goat with a goat with like cat ears and a fucking You're like you're like if a uh you're like if Garfield uh was more honest about being satanic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, your tail gets bapped and your ears Ooh. fucking twitch in response. You, uh, hey, you don't, don't feel... Don't, don't be pulling that. <laughs> you don't feel any compulsions uh, related to your... I, I don't have to worry, right? Because previously we were both herbivorous, but this is uh, going to be like a thing. Checking my teeth. Are my teeth sharp? Both yeah, in smells. I mean, they were already sharp. <laughs> I'm not going in your mouth. Are you fucking cr Who asked that? I'm not that? telling you to go into my mouth. I'm seeing if you... You asked me to check something in your mouth. No, check the teeth, you walnut. God damn. <laughs> it leans in a little. Are there any cat things? What about the tongue? Sticks the tongue out. Oh yeah, that texture's weird. Damn. You got a floss. Don't tell me what I need to do. Oh my God. Oh, yeah, you got a little bit of... Uh, uh, don't worry. I'll, I'll get you a better toothbrush after this. I'll, oh, we're gonna do so good, I'm gonna get you one of those electric toothbrushes. Uh-huh. No, no, don't knock it. I'll get you one, and it's gonna change your whole outlook. Uh... Anyways, help me set up this table. Uh, Papa's grifting. <laughs> okay. I'm, I feel don't weird. ever refer to yourself as Papa ever again. No, I, I'll, I'll do what I, I, I want. enjoyed I'll that greatly. Roll wickedness. Papa. I already uh, yeah. know what's up. Set up that fucking table. Start scamming people. All right. Uh, so my wickedness is a one plus six. Er so that, oh, that's plus six. Yeah, yeah, wait, this is six. I'm a dumb motherfucker. Facts. Yeah. Stamps a big stamp on your forehead that says facts. I'm gonna kill you. Roll 1d20 plus six, baby. Hey. Four, 14. All right, okay, all right. I, I shut up my fucking shell game. Uh, uh, it's a real... Uh, I get what's ever in your, you know, I get what's ever in your pockets, or uh, you get what's in the mystery box type of thing. The mystery uh, box and is empty. I have, yeah, no, I have, but but yeah. I have like Trixie, <laughs> uh, and like, uh, uh, Delete. Ugh, God, I'm so sorry. I, Donna. Donna Lee. I, yeah, I'm sorry. Donna it'll Lee. take, it'll take like a session, and then you'll be as into you. my soul forever. Go Do it. it. Uh. <laughs> I have a hammer. Yeah. Good. Hit me. Uh, yeah, no. 
uh, just a real have them look real upset that they can't get what's in the box. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, do me do me a favor. One or two. Yeah. One or two. Two. <gasps> Let's go. Cool. We win. It's a, it's a, it's a bigger number. You got the Rada Red Rover. <gasps> what the three hundred biddies? Uh, it's a metal piton with a ring looped at the top of it. Ooh. Let me check that. Uh. Hmm. Do I? I'm holding it. Do I know what it does? No. Some. Uh, it looks looks valuable. Mm. How are you looking at it? <laughs> oh, I'm like I'm look. Oh, I'm like looking through the thing. Uh, looking through it. Looking through the hole. At yeah. Who? Oh, yeah. I'm looking through the hole. At oh, who? uh. Look at me. Oh, look at me. Yeah. Looking at Donnelly, like, hey, Dana, you gotta fucking check this shit out. Uh, you you go to look it at Donnelly, valuable. and then Donnelly is no longer in front of you. Donnelly, you have swapped places with, uh. You've swapped places with, with, Mott. with Mott. Just Mott. <laughs> Just fucking Mott. Uh, yeah, no. Am I holding the ring? No. Wrong. It seems no. innocuous, but if you look at a person via the looped ring, you will swap places with them. You may perform this as a quick action in combat to swap places with any character you can see. This requires a free hand. Yeah, no, I, I think Mod should be like, oh, fucking, oh, 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 shit. Uh, like, straight up hops into the air, does a little tap feet dance, like, yeet, fucking keeping this. That was so cool! I know! This place is great! I can see why all of these people live here. <laughs> oh man, this place is great! I can't, can't wait to see what's inside the vault. Speaking of, do you want to go? Do you want to go? Do you want to go to the secret entrance? I pat my legs. Do you want to go to the secret entrance? <laughs> I'm Maybe. Honest, I actually kind of want to steal a little bit more, but I also want to move the plot along. So. There, there, there is. You would have learned this by asking around. And I didn't mention it. There is a more obvious entrance, like a front uh, entrance that's like on the opposite side of the vault. Yeah, but like that's the one that like a bunch of people have already tried, right? People have successfully entered it. Nobody really knows if it either work. Oh. Uh, okay, well, do we want to, like, check it out? For, I kind of, I'll check it out. I, I want to check it out. Check it out. Let's yeah, check it out, but not, let's not go Yeah, in. I don't think we should go in until Eclipse can join us. Explore time! It's also late, and I have to work in the morning. Please. Yeah, so, we could say that, check it that, out that this decision in. is something that you, we could bring into next session. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a that's a pretty easy introductory session. Uh, get your feet yeah. wet with the system a bit. Yeah, that and also good. I feel like we shouldn't go too much too much further anyways, uh, just because uh, uh, Eclipse had to had to dip for a little bit. So. See? I got a hot pocket and a monster. <laughs> <laughs> I became a cat. Yeah, baby. I have a an artifact. Pocket. You unlock slash a magic key. item. <laughs> no, no, uh, believe me. You can, you can trust the, you can trust the little rat. I'm just a little guy. I'm just a little rabbit. Matt, uh, yeah, the, give me your valuables. The slash TP command. Tee -hee. 